Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. It's the bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. All right, Candy, let us start with Carrie Underwood and her abs picture where she posted on Instagram, uh, ready for the summer. And I say, you know what? It's too perfect a picture with the abs in the bathing suit, and it looks like an advertisement for a bathing suit. But I think she's trying to trick people that it's just a regular selfie at home, Candy. And it bothers me. I understand. It bothers me, too. Everything's about the almighty dollar, although she's worked very hard to have the body yes. she has. And yes. She deserves some credit for that. Uh, it's true. all about well, how much money can I make off of it? It's ridiculous. It's true. Brett Eldridge has a new song called Good Day. The video is out. Uh, positive message trying to give people some light in these uh, times. Speaking of some light, Patrick Ewing is home, thankfully, Candy. Very good news. It was very disturbing to hear he was in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, Fighting I did they, this virus. Do they even have a hospital bed big enough? I've been in those hospital beds, Candy. I mean, he, that's seven foot tall. They have a hospital bed big enough happens, for him? I don't know but I'm glad that uh, he's home recuperating. Uh, Jeffrey Ross, the uh, comedian that roasts everyone and hosts all the roasts, He's been roasting people on social media. They want it, like they're asking him to. He even roasted a guy on a ventilator, and the guy loved it, Candy. Oh, that's hysterical. He's funny. He's uh, trying to bring some light to people in these you times. You have to. You can't take everything so seriously. Uh, Bob Kraft uh, has officially sold his Super Bowl 51 ring. That's the Atlanta Falcons victory, or they came from all those points down. Uh, for that all-in challenge for COVID relief, over a million dollars it sold for, Candy. Wow, that's a lot. I wonder who got that. Yeah, and Matthew McConaughey uh, delivered 110,000 masks to Texas hospitals the other day. Where did he get them from? I don't know. He's got his ways. What can I all say? Right, I don't know. It's just, you know, well, all he's, right. He's using his celebrity for good. Okay? I see. I see. Okay. T Taylor Swift, you know, um, there's a producer, a guy, Scooter Braun, who owns the full catalog of her music, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, she did a remake, her brother anyway, they think it is, did a remake of one of her songs, Look What You Made Me Do, for a show killing eve and you know the rumor is we told you this like a year ago she might be re-recording all her music so and then re-releasing it so she has the rights to it right um so this is so this cover of this song is on the soundtrack on killing eve and the way to get around uh, this guy having the royalties to it now is by re-recording it reproducing it and um so taylor had her brother do a cover of the song. Interesting. How does he sound? Did you hear I, it? Well, it's a completely different version. Um, he sounds all right. Uh, Randy Jackson, American Idol, is now the new bass player for Journey Candy. Look at this. What goes around comes around. He was in Isn't Journey. Is that a song of theirs or something? Uh, <laughs> we, goes there's, around comes we, there, around. There's Wheel in the Sky. Uh, oh. No, I don't. I they, Listen, that's a Go song. Ahead. What uh, goes, um, I don't you know, know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, you know what you're thinking of? You're thinking of the new Geico commercials with the band Rat. We've got a rat problem. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. That's and, why and it's in my head. <laughs> and they're singing Rat, yes. Right, 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 uh, right. So Randy Jackson used to play in Journey. He's a great musician and producer. Um, and they needed a new bass player after the old one tried to steal the Journey name and sue them. So he's now the new bass player. Good. I hope he has fun. Christina Applegate's movie, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, from 1991, is getting a remake, Candy. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Krasinski being labeled a sellout. You know, he's got that huge show on YouTube called Some Good News that everyone's in love with, right? Um, Viacom bought it and is going to, like, produce it and with a different host and all this stuff. And people are yelling at John Krasinski that, you know, hey, this show is giving us some light and giving us some fun and hope, and now you sold out. What are you doing with the money? Can you donate it to charity? And I gotta tell you, Candy, part of me agrees with people. You know, I understand you're allowed to make money, but John Krasinski started this as just a way to make people feel good, and then all of a sudden he sells it to Viacom. A little, little upset about that. All right, I have something to say to you. Yes. We, I said to you, we should have a podcast. We should do our own thing. We should, you know, do things we can't do on the radio. It right. would be a big hit. Now, if we did that, and if you listen to me for once, and it became really popular, and someone said, hey, this is great. We love it. We want to buy it. You'd sell it in a nanosecond. 
Right, but we'd still be hosting it. We would sell it. <laughs> Do you we, care? We no, but we would still be hosting it because the point of the podcast is people would want to tune in, hopefully, to hear us. Um, people tune Not in necessarily. To, people people tune into that show to see John Krasinski. That's well, what they do. I wonder who's going to do it now. I don't know. Larry King, speaking of which, just signed a $5 million deal for a podcast. Wow. <laughs> $5 million deal for Larry King on a podcast. <laughs> this makes me insane. All right. I'll put on suspenders. Calm down. Oh, my goodness. Tippi Hedren from The Birds, right? She's 90. Yes. Uh, you know, Dakota Johnson, her granddaughter, says she's got, Tippi Hedren's got like 13, 14 lions and tigers at her home, Candy. And bears. Oh, my. She does. She's been doing this for decades. Oh, she's the real Tiger King. We got to investigate Tippi Hedren, maybe. No? No, absolutely not. She oh, right. does good. Okay. Carol and Howard Baskin, speaking of which, uh, signed 400 trading cards with their pictures on it, and each sold for $99. Sold out in minutes, Candy. Gone. That makes me irate. Okay, mm. so either you bring me up. Or I'm going to crash to the floor. Uh, TV tonight, America's Got Talent premiere on NBC, followed by the premiere of World of Dance. And Diane Sawyer has a special on ABC about all this uh, stuff going on in the world. And there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country 96.1.